Tight, 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 tight. Okay, we are going to get better today. Okay? We're going to have fun. We're going to fight every possession. And we're going to play to win. Okay? I need you. I need you. And I'm going to try to help you get better. If you make a mistake, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We're going to get the better today, right? Okay? What do we got on three? One, two, th what do we got on three? Put it in, put it in, put it in. How about hungry? Is that all right? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Hungry! All right. All right. What we're talking about right now is attack the attacker. What do you mean by that? I was a wise guy when I was a young boy. When you grow up in New York, you're always in fights. And I was stupid, I'd always say the wrong thing to the big guy. He was always older. And usually I'm, I'm a eight years old, nine years old, and the 12 year old Italian guy was always the biggest guy. Because the Italian guys mature very quickly. The Italian guys, I think they come out of the mother's womb, they got hair under their arms. So I said the wrong thing to this guy. His name is Johnny Saragusa. And he picked me up and smacked my head into the cement. Next time I said the wrong thing to him, he came to pick me up and I picked up rocks and sticks and I threw them at him and yelled and ran into my house. And he didn't get me. And the story is, when you are attacked, attack back! Don't stand there and get beat. Attack back. You may not win, but attack back. Attack the attacker. So, at Davidson College, we have very, very difficult academic restrictions. It's very difficult to get admitted to Davidson. You must be very smart. So if there's 100 kids in a gym, we could only maybe recruit five who could be admitted. So we do not have the great players in America. But we gotta play against the great players. We gotta attack the attacker. Hey, this is my locker room, and I'm talking, and you're on my team. You need to attack. So we have a full court offense, full court. So ladies, what we're going to do, do we have shirts so we can have black and white? Is that possible? You've got that B, you got, give me five on one team, give me five on another. All right, let's have the black team out here on defense. Black team. Number five over here, number four over here, number three over here, number one, number two over here. Defense. Offense, match up. Defense. You're over here, good. Offense over here. Defense. Okay? Okay? All right. When we become an offensive attacking team, whether the ball is in or the ball is missed, we run. We run on make, we run on misses, we run on loose balls. We run all the time. And we don't use the expression run, we use the expression race. Okay? Race. You fight for a spot. I want you ladies fighting for a spot. Number four or number five goes to the front rim. Runs right to the front rim as fast as you can. Number two or number three runs to that corner and to that corner. Number four or number five outlets the ball to number one. Okay? We understand. Okay? 
The ball has gone through the net. Okay, goes through the net. Stop, 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 stop. Why did she get it? Why didn't you get it? Remember, number four or number five can inbound. Okay? Four or five can inbound. Okay? Remember, one of the keys is to see. So, you see the ball go through the net. Immediately, you sprint. You race. You see the ball. Number one. You see the ball go through the net, immediately you look for the ball. You see the ball go through the net, you race. Race. Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do that? Can you do that? Okay? Ready? Ball's through the net. Good. Stop. Stop. No defense. Just stay there, defense. Did you see the way she outletted the ball? She outletted the ball. This way. Which is faster? Which is faster? One foot or two feet? Two feet? One foot. Is that legal? One foot out of bounds. So by you taking the ball through the net, one foot, you are faster, okay? You are the point guard, okay? You want to, you came for the ball like this. So if you come for the ball like this, what is your next move? There. Why not stand here and go like that, okay? You run as fast as you can. When you get to half court, you take one look if you are open. If you are not, you run to the corner. If you don't get the ball, you sprint up to the front rim. Not posting here, no. Front rim. You run to the corner, okay? Can we do that? Can we try it? No, 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 no. No defense. No defense. Just stand. Defense, dummy. Dummy defense. Okay? You don't have to pass. I want you to dribble. Okay? Ready? Stop. How many dribbles did you take? Five dribbles. Too many. Too slow. Attack space. You stay in this area called the pocket. In American football, the quarterback, Tom Brady, stays in the pocket. In the pocket, you could see right, you could see left, you could see front. If you are on one side, you are stuck on one side. Stay in the pocket. Okay? So I, I am going to slow down. Slow down. So I outlet the ball to you. Let me see. As fast as you can, you drive it in the pocket to either elbow. Either elbow. Okay? You ready? Go ahead. Go, 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 go. Stop. Not to the front. To the elbow. To the elbow. Encore, again, let's go. Come on, we're gonna have fun. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Run, sprint, race. Good, stop. Okay. Back. Did you see the way you ran? You ran, Elise, you ran like this. Which is faster? Running like this. Or running like this. Straight line. You got to take the fastest route. Remember, attack space. Fastest route. You want to race the opponent down the court. So let me tell you why we're doing this. 
We believe in attacking the attacker because we think that if a full court offense, in a full court offense, you are making the defense play how? How is the defense playing? They are running, running, backing, backing. Correct? Correct? Anytime you have a defender going south to north, anytime you have a defender going south to north, you have an advantage. If a defender can go side to side, his quickness will destroy you. But if he has to go this way, you have an advantage. If he's backpedaling, you have an advantage. So, walk, simulate, don't run. Get back on defense, White. Def okay, S slow motion, S front rim, back up, corner, front rim, trailer, trailer behind, behind, over here, over here, not out there, right here. You are coming down. Look at her defending. Is this easy to defend this way? Not really. It's very easy to defend this way. Very easy. Not easy to defend this way. Okay? I want you driving right at her. Attack her. Okay? I want you running to the rim. And when you get to the rim, I want you to post her up. I want you to attack her space. Body search her. Body search her. You got that? All right? I want you to go to the corner. I want you to go to the corner, and I want you to load your gun. This is your gun, okay? Just like this, okay? Get there just like this, right here. Get your guns out, okay? All right, we get this? Where are you going to be right now? Where are you going to be? Are you going to guard her? Where will you be? Back, yes or no? Most likely you are going to get back on defense, right? Right? So you'll get back here. And let me tell you this about big people. Not big females, big men. Big males are dumb. They're dumb. They are slow to learn. They are slow to show progress. And they are slow to learn and get better. Big men. So generally a big male comes back here, back inside the paint, and they don't know who they have. They're very slow recovering. Okay? All right? Now you're driving it. Drive it. Stop, 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 stop. Go. Slow motion. Okay? Okay, so you can go either way. Okay? You go either way, either way. Front rim. Did you see where she posted? She posted right here. I don't want the ball here. I want the ball right here. Do they call three seconds in transition? Is three seconds ever called in transition? What do you think, Yvonne? Did they ever call it? Very rarely. So we are always violating that rule because they never call it. And what is the value of her going to the front rim? Why go to the front rim? Because now, if you go there, boom, perfect. Now, if you go there, boom, perfect. So the point guard can attack either side in the pocket. Tom Brady, the quarterback, can see that side. He can see that side. He sees it all. But get over here. Just dribble right there, just dribble. Now you say to yourself, what are you going to do? Are you going to, great shooter, what are you going to do? Great shooter. Oh, but look at this. Layup. But you got to help out. Get over here, back there. At least I'm going to show you how I'm helping out. I post here, right? Ready? Go, 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 go. No, 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 drive, drive it. Drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it, drive it. Score a layup. Okay? So here's what you do. 
Get over, get in the middle, get in the middle. All right, you're playing defense. You step off, Elise, you step off. You're playing defense. Is this the way you're gonna play defense on me? Okay, go ahead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why go that side when she's over here? Stop. Body search, body search, boom. Lay up, lay up or lay up. You help, help. Who's open? Three. You are dumb because you're big, so you're back here. So what happens? She gets over here, and she has post up, body search, pass, dribble, pass, top of the key, top of the key, top of the key, right there, perfect, three, okay, all right? Let me tell you why this works. When the shot goes up, the defense, not everyone gets back on defense. Someone is going to go to sleep. Someone is not going to run. So what you have to do, you have to emphasize to your team, sacrifice equals reward. You've got to get five players racing, five of them. You see, the world is filled with phony tough guys. Phony tough guys. Rah, rah. What you got to do is you got to call their bluff. Don't let anybody take your lunch money. Don't let the bully take your lunch money. Call their bluff. We get that ball and we're going to have five people racing the court and attacking you. We're coming after you. You see, the game of basketball, like every game, someone's going to surrender. Someone's going to wave the white flag. Who's it going to be? Who's going to wave the white flag? If five of your players run, if five of your players race, one of those guys is going to stop talking, stand up, Lose their men, backpedal on defense. But if I walk the ball up the court, and now I got to play against Kyle Lowry and Marcus Smart and LeBron James, they're going to kill me. But if I get them running backwards, and then I have to make, they have to talk, and they have to see, and they have to stay down, they're going to make a mistake. So you attack, you make them make a mistake just because you race. And what we do is we attack five spots. We attack corner, we attack corner, we attack front rim, we attack either elbow, and we attack the top of the key. We are fighting for those five spots. We are fighting to race there. Now, if, if I'm on offense down there, and I know she's running, Am I going to try to get an offensive rebound? Shot goes up. Am I going to go get to the offensive rebound? You're going to be worried about her, right? You know she's running as hard as she can. And you go for an offensive rebound, and all of a sudden she's out here. What is the coach going to say to you? Coach is going to say, yeah, sit down. We don't need that, right? So again, you are acting. You, you, are, you, are, you are making the defense react to you so they, they will lose their attempt to get offensive rebounds. Because if they try to go to the offensive glass, they're going to give up layups down at this end. And they don't want to do it. So immediately you take away the offensive rebound. Immediately you are inviting them to make a mistake. Now, do you think it's fun for your players to run if you were to say to your players, hey, we are going to have a fast break offense. We are going to fast break all the time. Would they raise their hand and say, yes, let's do that? Don't you think they would? Who thinks their team would say, yes, we want to run? Everyone loves to run. Everyone loves. But what we teach 
is we teach the freedom to run, freedom to run, but you know what comes before freedom? Discipline. Discipline comes before freedom. So therefore, we are disciplined in our spacing. We know where we are going, and we are racing there, and we are taking those spots. We are fighting for them because we are disciplined. But then we have freedom. We have the freedom to run. We have the freedom to attack. We have the freedom to fast break. You all said you players want to run, but I promise you, one of them will say, I'm too tired. One of them will relax. One of them takes the play off. Fight to win every possession. You've got to get five. Sacrifice equals reward. Because she ran, because you ran hard, she had to come in here. She sacrificed. You get rewarded. Get out there. Because you sacrificed and attacked her space, you get rewarded with a drive to the basket. Because you sacrificed and drove the ball right there, you had to help. Who gets rewarded? Top of the key three. It's the simplest thing in the world. But remember what I said, the five rules help somebody. No one wants to do that. She runs the court only if she gets the ball. She runs to the corner only if she's gonna get a shot. She doesn't run hard because she doesn't care. She doesn't dribble it hard because she doesn't want to dribble hard. But if you sacrifice, if you help somebody, the team gets rewarded. Can't we get that through to our players? The players must understand that. But that's what you got to reward. So you got to say before the season starts, raise your hand if you want to race the court. And they will raise their hand. And then you say, if you don't race the court, what penalty are you going to pay? I don't mean race at this possession, then take the next possession off. Because the only way it works is if you do it every possession. And that's hard. It's really hard. But you know what will happen? The black team will get tired and fatigued. And then the substitutes can come in and play. So now you have a lot of players in your rotation playing and now everyone's happy because everyone's playing. It, it makes sense. And, and the white team is saying, I can't run this hard. And the white team gets fatigued. And they get fatigued and they stop talking on defense. They stand up on defense. They don't find their men on defense. They don't help out on defense. And then guess what? Because of fatigue, they stop boxing out. Who boxes out in transition? Very few people do that. So this is why you do it. You do it to defeat the stamina, to make them make a mistake. And the whole process is to deflate. The word deflate means to push their defense down to the baseline. Remember what the first rule of offense is attack space if you win the war for space you win and now look where our five players are get the ball here look look how we have deflated them we have owned space so many teams they'll come up the court set it up number two number three set it up but you know what happens when they yell set it up Guess who else is setting up? The defense. So if Mark is smart as guarding me, I'm in a heck of a lot of trouble. But if I'm coming down the court and because she ran hard, Mark is smart, had to sprint down there, 
Now all of a sudden, we got matchup problems for them. Now all of a sudden, we don't have to worry about Marcus Smart guarding the dribble one-on-one. -on -one. We got them backpedaling. We got them on their heels. There's no greater advantage offensively than that. But you got to practice it every day. Every freaking day. So I show you what we do with the outlet. We make a simple drill, and I'll show you right here, okay? This is a three-person drill, okay? And all we're doing right now is we're going to throw the outlet pass, and one person is going to throw the outlet pass, point guard is going to catch it, and you are running as fast as you can to the rim, and you're going to catch it and shoot a layup, okay? Ready? So one, two, three, okay? Okay. Ready? We'll start again. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Remember, C. Okay. Are you playing defense like that? No, let's, let's be realistic. You're on defense, okay? You're on defense. Imagine you're on defense, okay? Imagine you're on defense, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that as fast as you can run? Are you loosened up? I'm going to give you $100 if you can get there in four seconds. I don't think she ran very hard, and I understand. This is all new to her. She's trying to do what she's supposed to do. This isn't her fault. But I use that example of $100. Players can get motivated. And remember what we want to do. We want to run to the front rim as fast as you can. Let me see you run as fast as you can now. Run to the front rim. Go, go. Run to the front rim. See where she's running? She's running outside. Come on back. I don't want you to run outside. I want you to run directly to the front rim. Okay, do you understand that? Go ahead. Go, go. Whoa, whoa. Are you at the front rim? Details. Details. Okay? All right. So what we're going to do, and I want you to catch the ball. She's going to run. The first pass is more important than the first dribble. So you catch the ball. You see. Okay? Why don't you run, okay? You, yeah, okay? All right? So as soon as she's getting the ball and you see that she's got it, you sprint to the front rim as fast as you can. You look and you throw a pass to her. Ready? Go ahead. Perfect. Okay, can we do that? All right, let's see. Let's do it two or three more times. Let's go. Another point guard. You already did it. Another point guard. Another point guard. Go ahead. Another, another. Someone else. Ready? Yeah. Go. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Another two more. Good lady. Pass. Let's go. Ready? Who's, who's running? Okay. You ready? Okay, go. Okay. Did you see the way she ran? She ran, and she's looking for the ball. When you run, trust. Trust. Get to half court. Look, and then turn. Okay? When you dribble, take one hard dribble or two hard dribbles and pass it. Okay? Next two. Next two. Let's go. Two more. Who's running? You? Okay. You ready? Perfect. 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 That's great. That's the way to run. Give me two more. Are you ready? You're going to run, right? Go. Oh, whoa, 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 
You ran this way. I want you to run to the front rim, straight to the front rim. One of our keys is details, right to the front rim. Do you know the difference? Do you understand the difference between front rim? Okay, so you're not out here, you're in there, okay? All right, you ready? Go. Go, that's it, good. Good, great. Okay, so that's the first shot of our offense. The first shot of our fast break, okay? The second shot of our fast break is a three-point shot, okay? All right, what I want you to get over here, a line over here, receiver over here, as soon as they get it, you sprint as hard as you can and shoot a three in transition. Okay, let's get girls behind her, girls over here. Give me the ball. Let's go, let's go, come on. Good, good, that's it, good, good. Let's go, ready, go, go, go. Good, run, run, good. Good, ready, go, go, good, good, go, good. Good, good, that's it, ready, go, go, run, good. Ready, go, run, run, good, good, go, 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 good, perfect. Okay, now we're down here, okay, that's the second shot. The third shot of our offense is the point guard can drive to either elbow, either here or there, and at the front rim, you body search, two man, two person. So let's get point guards up there, or guards up there. Let's get big people over here, fours and fives here, okay? So point guard, point guard, okay? So all you're gonna do is you're at the front rim, okay? Drive it to the elbow, bounce pass. Bounce pass to the belly button, perfect, perfect. Okay, either side, okay? All right, I'm defense. Ready? Go ahead. Okay. Let's go again. Same person, same two. Which side is she posting on? Which side is she posting on? Which side? Good, good, good. Next, next two, let's go. Hey, let's get guards up there. Let's get more guards up there. Good, good. Good, good. Next, let's go. Good, perfect, good. Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Get to the elbow. Get to the elbow, okay? Ready? Okay, notice the girls, they did not flesh to flesh me. Why? Because they're nervous? Hit me. Bang! Hit me, okay? Can you do that? I may need an ambulance. Ready? Go ahead. Good. That's great. Good. Good. Oh, great job. That's it. That's great. Good. Good. Perfect. Good. And did you notice, you notice the detail? You see the way the ladies caught the ball? They got possession. They did not get position. So they got possession of the ball. That's tremendous. That's great. And did you notice all the passes were sharp bounce passes right to the belly button? And did you notice they all caught it with two hands? That's terrific. That's terrific. Okay, so now the next one is you're going to get to the elbow, okay? You're going to post me up, and it's not open, and you hesitate dribble, and then go in one dribble layup, a layup, okay? You ready? Attack my flesh. Go. Good. But see, she fouled. So she's got to have an act. Act like you're posting. Let me see you act like you're posting. Let me see you act. God, that's perfect. It's great act. Great fake. Okay, let's go. Flesh to flesh. Flesh to flesh. Oh, foul, foul, foul. Arms up. 
Palms up, okay? okay? Let's go. Flesh to flesh. Good. That's it. Perfect. Let's go. Good. That's great. Good. One more. Good. Oh, get those arms up. Okay, the next one. Let's get shooters in the corner. Okay? I defend the shooter in the corner. You get to the elbow, you see me hit the shooter. So the shooters start over here. Yep. Run to the corner, run to the corner, load your gun, and shoot it. Three. Okay? I'm covering her. Okay? Ready? Go. Oh, good. Perfect. Did you see where she threw the ball? She threw the ball to the pocket. Did you see? She threw the ball to the pocket. Do you realize how important that is? I watched the boys pass the ball, and Nick had some great plays. But did you see where all the boys threw the ball? Up here, out here. The girls threw it right here. Unbelievable. That's great. Right to the pocket. If I get a catch up there, pass it up there, pass. Now I have to go here and shoot. If I get a ball right here, shoot. Which is better? Right in the pocket. A detail, but it makes you quicker. Great. Terrific, girls. Terrific. Wait, wait, wait. I'm on defense, okay? You ready? Go. Ha! Ah! Oh, perfect, perfect. Right to the pocket. Good. Here it comes. Oh, good. Another one. Perfect, perfect. Good. Another one. Hey, this is great. Let's get it. Right there. Great. So, this is the early part of our attack. We throw the pass to the first big. We get the, corner, the wing three, the corner three, the pass to the post, and then we also get the drive layup. And the last one we get is the trailer top of the key three. So let's have fours and fives up here, and let's have one, twos, and threes over here. And I want the one, twos, and threes driving here, driving here, nothing, nothing, Top of the key three. Okay? You ladies who shoot up there, okay? Let's go, ladies. You understand? Okay? I'm the defender of the big one. Go ahead. Oh, good! Pocket! Perfect! Great! Terrific! I'm the defender of the big. Good! 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 Pocket! I'm the defender. Good. 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 I think, I think that is the highest percentage three-point shot in the game. Now, Nick will give you all kinds of statistics about the corner three in the NBA. Does that still exist? I think the top of the key three is the best percentage three-point shot in the game because it's an inside-out three. The corner three, sometimes it's direct from the arc, the top of the key three, we have tremendous big men that shoot that like it's a layup for them. It's the highest percentage. But you see what happened in each of these situations? Did you see all of these shots were the result of the person with the ball or the person posting helping their teammate? And it's got to be five players doing it, though. Five. Okay. So now, that's the early part of the shots we get. Now, let me show you, when the early shots aren't there, we have solutions. So let me get the black team, okay? The black team, point guard has got to the elbow. You got the front rim. You're the trail of three. You're the corner, and you're the corner. Okay? All right? Corner. So now, we've got nothing. Nothing is available. Nothing is available. So now, she's covered as well. You dribble the ball here, just like, like this. You dribble like this, get him on the hip. Get the defender on your hip. 
The concept of keeping your defender on your hip allows you to see and protect. If you were to dribble like this, you're not protecting the ball. But now get me on your hip. I'm going to defend you. I'm defending you. I'm defending you. Get me on your hip. Turn your hip. Oh, oh. See, by crossing over like that, cross over, just like you did, cross over, okay, you lost the ball. Okay? So what you should do is try to get me on your hip. You understand? So you, got, you stretch it here, and then all you do is you pivot. Okay? Go ahead, Jorka. Go ahead, Jorka. Good. Perfect, perfect. And now look what you got. Okay? Four out, one in. And that's the whole basis of our offense. Look at the spacing. Pretty good. You have three reads. Okay? If you are open, if she is open, you pass the ball. Okay? Get it back. If she is denied, you screen away. Okay? If she is under tremendous pressure, she is really being pressured, you ball screen. Okay? So you have three reads. Okay? Those are the three reads after we've got our players in attacking spots. Okay? Three reads. Now I'm going to show you the three options when you make these reads. Okay? If she passes here, stop right there. You now attack space and fight for that catch. Okay? And you pass it there. Okay? Once you see that pass there, you sprint to the corner. Sprint. Okay? You've got it there. Okay? This is the basis of Davidson offense. We call it bingo. Bingo! Three players working together. You will do this. You will use a step-in screen. A step-in screen is not this. You step in just like this. Okay? So step in. You now come off her. Okay? And these are your options. Okay? She's just like that. Get the ball back and pass it again. Pass it here. So I go like this. What are you going to do? Go ahead. What do you got? Lay up. Okay? Give it back. Go ahead. Do it again. Let's go. I'm guarding you. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. Okay? Now I'm not going to do that. Okay? Now I'm going to chase you. I'm going to chase you. I'm going to chase you. What do you do? Curl. Perfect. Okay? Perfect. All right? Now we're going to switch. Okay? So I'm guarding her. And here's what you do. Instead of doing that, you're going to go up there and do that. So they're switching. Okay? Okay? So come on. Switch, switch, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Now. Okay? Perfect. Okay? Now get it back again. Now you are stepping in, right? She swings it. You see this. Now you go, go right there. Okay? Lay up. Okay? Get it again. Okay? Now... What we want you to do is we want you to curl her and then we want you to follow. Okay? So go ahead, pass it. Curl the top of the key. Screen, screen. Curl. Now follow. Curl. You get, whoa, whoa, whoa. F finish. And you're going to come here, okay? I have video that will show this in a couple of minutes. But this is the easiest way to score layups in the game. You have three players working together, and they work off each other. The big key is the timing of the screens. And notice what I said. This is called a step-in screen. It's not called a pin-down. It's a step-in. Because when she steps in, now the defender doesn't know how to play. The defender is kind of screwed. So you could immediately quick cut me. It, it, it screws the defense in a big time way. Could we look at the film now? Okay. 
Am I controlling this, Anita? Pass down low. KO can't finish. Here's the control. Right, here come the Wildcats. Perfect in the last three. Stop, run it back. Can you run it back? How can I control it? Stop it. Can, if I tell you to stop it? Okay, so start the beginning. Look at the first shot that we got. Go back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. This is it. Okay? Bilberry for three. Stop. No good. Stop. Notice at the top of the key, 23 in red. He is going to run to the front rim. The four man got the out rebound. Point guard up there. Two man and three man. Look at them in their racing positions. Run it. Run it. And the door is left open for Davidson. Wide open. Aldridge. Pulls. Ten on the shot clock now. Nice bounce pass down low. KO can't finish. Stop. Come. Why is he catching it? Because the guy at the top raced. And because he raced, his man had to cover him. And that opened up the middle. Notice where they threw the ball. Tom Brady in the pocket. Run it. The Wildcats. Perfect in the last three trips. Stop. This is Stephen Curry right here. So this is a very old offense. 14 years, 15 years old. Watch the outlet. Go. One foot. Notice catches. Up. Layup. Attitude. Got to make those shots inside. They got a piece of it. Blocked on Cox. Look at him run. Look at him race. High ankle sprain. Stop. Because the guy raced here. How many guys are guarding him? How many guys? Two. No one's guarding him. Sacrifice. Reward. Next. Four points tonight. A wide open look. Stop! Sacrifice! Reward! Notice the spacing. Go ahead. 25% from three point land. That's his first battle. Stop! This is Stefan. He was injured in this game. Watch him attack the elbow. He's going to attack the elbow. This guy down here is Gordon Haywood, who plays for the uh, Hornets. Go. Stop. See the seal? Shooter, Gordon Haywood, Curry or shooter? He didn't know. Look what happens. Curry all the way up and under. He finally scores in a type of guy. And because of his energy and effort going after offensive glass, Go. the Friars are able to build a three-point lead. Bynum connects on the layup. Grady attacking high off the glass and puts. So as you mentioned, it's good to see. Is that um, the second bank? We're screwed up here. Can we go back a little bit? Go back a little bit more. Okay, go ahead now. There's Curry. Curry all the way up and under. He finally scores in a type of guy, and because of his energy and effort, keep going, going now. Offensive glass, the Friars are able to build a three-point. Ah, this stupid video. I'm sorry about this video. Next, if you can, if you can move it. If we miss one, it's okay. If we miss one, it's okay. I'm sorry about this. You notice the shots we're getting are the same ones we just showed you right here. Ah, forgive me, I'm sorry. Okay. High off 
the glass and puts. So as you mentioned, it's good to see. Is that the second bank we've seen? Off the glass for the big fella, Watson. <laughs> Notice the seal. <laughs> see the, the seal inside? In possession, he banks will get credit. But Rossiter was there as well as Smith. And they needed that. As room? Possession, he banks will get credit. But Rossiter was there There's as well Curry. as Smith. And they needed that. As room? That three-pointer won't fall, and Huffman clears the board. Watch the seal here. That's one thing that Coach Lang talked about in terms of readiness. Three-pointer. Michael Jones. When getting the start for George Mason, he can fill it up from the outside if he gets heated up. They cannot settle for quick threes like they did last Top night. Top of the, the key three. Half. It's a different club to play. Yeah. And there you go. Look A little strong on the release. Top of the I key like three. To stop and gaining composure to lift. Bridget. Bingo, here's Bingo. There's the curl. Layup. Bingo. Bingo. Look at him posting. Meninga really pushing up hard on that low block. Nice Down screen layup. Bingo, look at him posting. Early in this game, right now, you see you Layup. wants to do it offensively, but a score record. He has just joined him. Watch him lay up. High percentage shot, but still Davidson. Look at him posting. Duquesne, struggling. Lay up. Jump shots. 35% from quick slips being run. We've seen him run a couple times for Welch, that time for Holmes around the top of the key, and they get a good look from it. Watch this. Holmes, the second best lay up. Point shooter in the A10. Here's Lee cutting to the rim. Count. Calipari likes that finish, but he says the effort wasn't Watch good. this one. Dive on the floor for that ball. Quick cut zero. by 31. Down screen. Three. One thirty-six up. Yeah, we talked about Gilliard not having any steals. There's a steal. And an quick assist. cut. So you got your seniors who are roommates. Grant three. Knocked down to three. That he's in the ball screen. He catches and finishes. That's really good basketball. The assist from Crutcher, and it's an eight-point game. Oh. But again, I'm an ACC guy. I'm not saying that's what I want to see. You're this is a basketball guy. You analyst. Just like ten players right there that are playing tomorrow that are your guys. Logo stick hops for the rebound. Bates Jones in the game for the first time. It's Bates Jones, Mike Jones, who throws a rocket inside. Okay, stop it there. Grant. Does everyone see the bingo action? how we get layups because of that three men working together. And because we position the ball, notice what happens. Let's get five black out here. You have it at the top of the key. You're over here. And notice in every one of those clips, this player here sprinted out there. When this player sprints out, who else goes with that player? The defender. Because the defender goes out, finish your cut at the arc, the whole middle is open. And notice that it wasn't a question of how fast they ran. It was change of speed and change of direction in their cuts. So she was always the screener. She was always the step in. Step in, screen. So here's what you got. You've got you rejecting the screen, curling the screen, coming up here and rejecting this screen, curling this screen. Incredible options that you have. We have certain calls out of this in which you're in a corner. So let's say this was Curry here. Instead of, we might want a stagger screen here. So stagger. So now we're gonna actually screen because we want to get Curry open, so come and get him, okay? And take the double. After we screen, catch it at the top of the key. Catch it at the top of the key. Now the five rules. What are the five rules? Attack space, finish your cut to the arc. Attack space, finish your cut to the post. Okay, what are you gonna do with it? You can't shoot? Why dribble? She's open. Hit the open man. What do you got? Post. Okay? Ball's up here. You pass the ball. Okay, get the ball and pass it to her. What are you going to do? You're going to help somebody out? 
How can you help somebody right now? Block. She said block. Okay, so I'm guarding you. I'm guarding you. How can you help her? Fade. So you fade, take one hard dribble, you got an empty baseline and a seal. Okay? It's incredible the flow and the continuity that you get from this because as a result of movement and the five rules, you're open. All right? Let me just define what we do with the ball screen and a screen away. So let's get back to our spots. Low post. Point guard's got it. Point guard's got it. Now you are denied. So here's what you do. When she screens away, you sprint opposite. You set a screen. You come under. Screen. Catch it. Screen. Catch it. Okay. Pop out. Okay. Five out. What are you going to do now? Right here. You sprint it out here. She threw it there. What are you going to do? Block. Block. Okay. Good. Okay. After you set that, go here. Now, you're going to set another one. You've got the ball there. Now you come here and you set a middle fade. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's good. Good. Catch it here. What do you have now? Again, you see how we constantly have four out, one in with the middle open. All because there's flow and rhythm and continuity. And that's the whole basis of our attack. Andre Rio. Has anyone ever seen Andre Rio? He's a famous orchestra leader, yes? Only us old guys know. When an orchestra leader starts, starts the orchestra playing a song, does he stop in the middle of the song? Of course not. That's what you are in this offense. You're an orchestra leader. You are leading the orchestra, and you've got to flow, and there's got to be beautiful music. But you have to have rules. Just like the orchestra leader has notes to follow, the piano player has notes. They have five rules. They have seven keys. They've just got to follow them, and they've got to do it at the right time based upon the space of the court. That's as simple as I can state about an offense fast break. This is 70% of what Davidson does right here. You saw the video. You saw how easy it was. Is there any more clips to show? The rest of the clips? I'll show you the rest of the clips, which won't be the bingo. It'll be the screen away and the ball screen. Okay? Attack the elbow. Here. Swing. Okay, we got bingo here. Bingo. Awesome. Player, and you're seeing the threes from Dayton. Screen away. Percentage down a little bit towards the one of the year, but jump shot. Ramped up recently. Watch this one. Screen away. Screen away. Fade. Jump shot. Screen away. Screen away. Pin down. Post up. Middle fade. It's huge for this Dayton team having another guy that can put pressure on the defense. Screen away. USC transfer. Right Pin down. Fade screen. Three. Expect to see the wild screen away. Breakovich more and more involved here down the stretch. Middle fade. Long game. Middle fade layup. Got it blocked down low inside by Menenga. In the pocket. Screen away. Turn down. Screen away. Middle fade. Layup. Seth, what are you saying? I like that. They go Huffman in the block. Notice the acting. Notice the acting. Notice the acting. Middle fade. Collins thought it doesn't really be locked in to shut him down. Only a six footer. All right, ball screen, layup. Notice what happens on the ball screen. The other big gets out. See him sprint. Watkins hit the deck, back up. Catch and see. Catch and see. 
Catch and see. Catch and see. Help somebody out. Layup. Catch and see. Ball screen. Run to the rim. Catch and see. Drive baseline. Help with the dribble. He'll pop the three from the wing. Nine to two on the offensive end and 12 to two on second chance points. Second chance points. Middle fade. Help somebody. Help somebody. Help somebody. Unrelated. Although Jones does come from quite the athletic family as this is. That gives you a pretty good idea about how the five rules apply and we use them full court. Okay? Any questions anyone have? Any questions I can answer? Yes? What do we do when the ball goes inside? Great question. If the ball goes to the four men, the five men will burn. We call it burn. He sprints to the weak side dunker spot. The weak side dunker spot is just off the lane. He will sprint there to bring his man with him. And then we space on the arc. If it's thrown in from the wing, he will read his man. He will space to the corner or space up here. If he sees his man double down, he'll just stay right here. So we call it burning. If it's a guard that's posted, it'll always be the five man who burns. If the five catches it, the four man burns. And we call it burn because we want an emphasis of something hot. He really wants to go there, hot. Coach, just a quick question. Uh, in uh, after they're finishing running the lanes, and the point guard attacks the elbow, and he uh, goes for a drive, but he kicks it out in a corner. But that shooter didn't take a shot. Correct. So can shooter you has the show ball the, in the basic corner. principles on automatics this of spacing, dribble, drive, off? Shooter has the ball in a corner. Point guard had passed it. Point guard goes through and replaces, and he dribbles out. Where does the big man go in this case? The big man posts up. Still there. Okay, so they just trade positions. So I've got the ball, no shot. I will drive it. And in our offense, when you drive at somebody, you back cut. That's the rule, unless you put the fist up for a handoff. So we drive, he will back cut. Trailer, post, point guard, opposite side. It takes rehearsals, it takes a lot of repetition. Question? Yeah. Uh, if uh, your uh, man uh, on position two or three get defensive rebound, do you give them freedom yep. to Great handle, question. handle the ball? Yeah, if the two or three gets it, they become the point guard yes. and the one man becomes one of the corners. Yes, so you give them freedom to handle the ball if they exactly. get it. Remember, okay. we want to attack. Oh, okay. And um, we have had players, and you see the Warriors do it with Draymond Green. Draymond Green, generally the 5-4 position, he will sometimes bring it up for them. We will have our 4 or 5 do the same thing. We have very versatile players. Okay? So it, sh it can be any other player than point guard? Correct. Depends it can be anybody. No, okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. See, they know the spots to get to. Their job is to race, to fight, to win those spots. Once the spots are won, then they know what to do. That's why it's a full court offense. And, and Nick mentioned that I recruit players to our system. I do. But our system is a lot more than just shooting and skill. Our system, there are four things that we recruit. We recruit coach ability in other words someone that is willing to listen to the coach willing to execute the system and willing to play whatever role that system wants him to play the second thing we recruit is toughness I want mothers I want tough mothers emotional toughness physical toughness 
The third thing I want is work ethic, hard workers. And the fourth thing I want is skill. Okay, notice I didn't say athleticism. If we get athleticism, great. The four keys to me, coachability, toughness, work ethic, and skill. Other questions? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Bob. Thank you.